Are you ready for school? Yeah. All right, do you want to go say bye to your mommy? Yeah. Go give her a soft hug. Open up my heart and you'll find me. You never have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find me. So we have, <laughs> okay, um, we've had some, a few things that's gone on recently that haven't made it into a vlog, um, and then I have some really fun stuff planned in a minute. Real quick, Lucas got his braces off. I don't know if some of you noticed some of the vlogs he hasn't had braces on. We did actually film getting them off. Um, so here is that footage, and they look so amazing. Today is an exciting day because I Lucas is getting his braces off. Are you excited? Not really. No, he's not. It's funny because he says that he looks good with braces, and so he's a little disappointed to get them off. I thought that was interesting because most people that have braces are like, I can't, can't stand my look get with them. them. Yeah. I am excited to whiten them, though. Ah, okay. So. He just he feels that he looks really good in braces. so. But I think the teeth are going to be so straight and just nice that you're going to actually love it. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so Aaron is going to take him over there, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when you get back. Look at that! Yes! That feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't think they would look that good. But. Oh, they look really good, dude. Nice. Gotta get some lunch or something after this? Yes, sir. Nice. your braces off yeah does it feel good it feels a little weird it feels weird mm -hmm. do they feel slimy do they feel clean i don't know my gums feel bigger your gums that feel bigger sense. yeah because yeah. usually my braces were poking out and i couldn't feel my gums that much but that makes now sense i can feel my braces or my gums that's awesome yeah well, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. Me too. All right, the orthodontist is right next to this place called Backyard Taco. I have tried it before, but it's been a while. I always love myself a good taco. So I went and tried each one. I got four tacos, one of each of the type of tacos that they have. Young man got a carne asada burrito, and uh, yeah, we're excited to go home and eat, and hopefully it's delicious. All right, Lucas and I are home. He has his braces off. They look amazing. I do want to say that we've had six kids now do Robison Orthodontics and we absolutely love them. They have an amazing system set up. If you guys are in the East Valley area of Phoenix, definitely go check them out if you're thinking about getting braces or Invisalign. We're really happy with them. Definitely check them out. Uh, we're going to sit here and eat our tacos and uh, just catch up for a little bit before he's got to go pick up some kids from school and I got to go pick up some kids from school. So let me see the smile. They look so good. Mm -hmm. They look really good. Uh, That's a big difference. They feel weird. Does it feel weird? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you love it though? Yeah, a little More bit. than you thought you would. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> they look so good. Look Thank at your you. smile. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, next. Logan has something exciting to share. Oh, yeah. It's so exciting, guys. Hi! So Logan was so excited when he brought this home the other day and um, and he can't wait to show all of you guys. How long? You've only had it for a few days and he already is pretty good. Hi! Hi! I want to see your fun too in a minute. Playing tuba in the school band. He's going to be playing tuba in the school band. Okay, show us your notes. Look at this big thing. 
This is like a whole suitcase. That's so good! Good job, Logan! I have something to play off of. Okay, and Brody, what are you going to be playing? The violin. The violin! <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's hear you. Keep practicing, you're doing so have, good for I just getting that. Per a perfect hand position. Alright, so you have to put your thumb right here. You have to put your middle finger right here. And then you have to put this finger right here. And then this, the second knuckle, has to be in the middle. And then your pinky has to be like this. And your pinky has to be like this. Okay. And then there's a certain way to hold it. You have to have it like this. And you can't be like this. Because then it makes the sound be bad. But... Good job! I have a book to play off of. So I'm really, really excited that they're going to be playing musical instruments and we'll be able to go to their band concert. Yeah, yeah! Yeah! Orchestra yeah. with me. That one. Awesome! That is Brody's friend. I love it. So I am really excited that they have chosen to do some musical instruments because I love going to those concerts and I just think it is so good for them. So I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm yeah. so excited. Oh, <laughs> Aaron is so excited too. Oh, no. <laughs> when he came home, he was so proud of it. Aaron's over here making some guacamole. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell the vlog why no one's in here. Okay, so I feel like our kids are at this really hard age where it's like in between toys and like not. You know like that in between stage where you're like, what do I even get them for Christmas this year? Or what should I be just getting them for birthdays or different things and all of that? I found it though. I found the perfect thing. So I'm gonna go get it. Um, I actually, I heard Logan and Liam talking about it the other day and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. We're gonna be surprising them with it. So I have a surprise for you. Yeah. yeah. Yes? Surprise. It's a good surprise. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Stay right here. I'm going to go get it. Okay. So I do want to say a huge thank you really quick to Gel Blaster for sponsoring this video. They're going to be so excited. They're these little gel blasters. They hold up to 800 gelets. They are pain free. They are mess free. They're safe for pets and children, all of that. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. To get gelin. Let's go. Oh, this is sick. They're gel blasters. I heard you guys talking about these the other day. Are you guys excited? Yeah. These things are sick. And they're rechargeable with the USB fast charger. Oh. <laughs> That's the little gelettes. Yes. Those are cool. So this is what they look like before. And it comes with more. Then you put them in water and they turn into that. Okay, so it does come with this and an extra little barrel so you can change out. Let's go try it. You guys ready? Set. Go. Oh, you're on automatic. <laughs> Are you guys loving it? Yeah. Click my link and use my code GBCRAZYPIECES to get a free hopper plus an extra 10,000 gelets with your order. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I didn't get to do our fun thing that we were going to do yesterday that I was going to show you guys. Sorry, I'm not ready today either. Um, and I'm out of breath. You know, we're trying to find Scarlet's shoes. Do you know where your shoes are? So my fun thing or what we were gonna do yesterday is take all of the kids who don't have passports and we were gonna get their photos done for their passports. Um, but we didn't get to that because uh, Melinda called me and she was crying and she was in so much pain and she had drove up, um, she was about two hours away to see her biological grandma's uh, grave site and take Jamie up there and all that. So she's in the car with Jamie and Scarlett and she starts having this like, like sharp shooting pain all over and 
And I was like, oh my gosh, but you're driving. Are you okay to drive? Like, and I was, like, Aaron and I were in our cars and Max, he came and helped us. Um, but we were in our cars, headed over to, so we drove for about an hour, met her as far as she could drive. Um, took her to the hospital. So we were in the hospital last night. Sorry, I did not have my camera. That's the last thing that was on my mind. But Melinda did have her camera on her side, so she did film parts of it. And she ended up having a kidney stone. And so we were in the hospital late last night, but now her back is still really, really hurting her. Um, so we brought her back here last night. She's in there, so I'm trying to make a long story short because I gotta go take, so I'm taking Scarlett to her preschool class right now, um, but Melinda's laying in bed and she's just still in a lot of pain. Supposedly she's already passed the kidney stone according to the doctors, but I just don't know why she's still hurting. And so, so we had all that happen. Okay, let's go find Scarlett's sandals and get her over to preschool. I feel like kids just put their shoes like Take them off in the most random spots and sometimes not even together. Your sandals, you found them? No? We're looking. You always find like one under a couch and one over on. Do you know where you took them off? Where? Somewhere else. Somewhere else? Yeah. In here or no? no? Okay, we found them. Yay! All right, put your shoes on. Let's go grab your lunchbox. Want me to hold Sky? We got her a lunch all packed. You ready for school? Yeah. All right, do you wanna go say bye to your mommy? Yeah. We'll give her a soft hug. Love you. Hope you feel better. It's so scary when your kids go through things and you just like wanna take that pain away or I just wanted to like hug her but I didn't wanna like hurt her because anytime she like moved at all, it was like so much pain. All right, you ready for school? Can you unbuckle your seatbelt? Love you. Is it gonna pick me up? Yep, I'm gonna pick you up today, okay? I am back at home and literally Aaron is the sweetest husband ever. I have to show you what he did. But um, as I was gone dropping off Scarlett and I just had the craziest morning getting everybody up and going and all the different because now adding another kid to that schedule just threw me off a little but we're good but look what he made me for breakfast thank you so much you're welcome babe. Aww. you're worth it and he stayed at the hospital with melinda and i last night and ran through a rainstorm that was crazy it was nuts it was oh my the worst. gosh okay so it, it only rains like three inches a year in arizona maybe and i swear <laughs> this storm last night we probably got seven or eight inches i know and it what like crazy. within a, like an hour or two period too driving like home the car season. kept losing traction and stuff it and scary. it was nuts it was it scary was, but um, anyways, I have so much to do. I'm actually going to um, make sure that Melinda gets into the doctor and we're gonna get all that figured out. So I'm gonna let you guys go, but I will see you guys next time. Cause this heavy is a season And the sun is always right behind the storm